All right, guys, so this is um, part five, and uh, this is one of those where you have to have a few different files to do this uh, this section of the project. So go ahead and download these if you haven't already. The main file we're going to use here that we're going to edit is called Himalayan Coffee House. So go ahead and click on that one and download it, as always, so that we can edit it. And uh, this one we're going to do problems 37 through 43, so not really a whole lot to do with this particular document. So download a copy. I can close that out, but I'll just leave it open for right now. All right, and number 37 says, add the contents uh, from the file about us document under the title Himalayan Coffee House on page two. Uh, so right here, see see how we have this little blank space right here? It wants us to go ahead and insert the file contents from this file. So again, if you haven't downloaded this stuff, go ahead and put a check on it and go ahead and say download and get this stuff on your actual computer. I'm going to stick mine on my desktop for right now. Boom, and it's in a little zipped file on my desktop. Um, all right, so let me go back here. I'm laying coffee house. I'm going to say insert. I'm going to say object because it's a text document. I'm going to go ahead and say create from file. Oh, hang on. Because it's a text document, I'm going to say text from file. And then I'm going to navigate to my desktop, which is where I just saved my stuff. I don't know where you guys put your stuff, uh, but mine's right here somewhere on my desktop. Oh, right there. Emily and Coffee House. It's in a little zipped folder, so let me just go all files. Oh, hang on. I'm not going to be able to download more than one at a time, so hang on. Okay, so I just extracted all my stuff from my zipped file onto my desktop. So now when I say insert text from file, I should see this thing on my desktop. And again, you won't have to do any of this stuff on your actual test. I know it's kind of frustrating having to do all these little workarounds and stuff like that. All right, so this is called um, Himalayan Coffee House. I uh, know, About Us document right here. All right, and that's what it does. I'm going to go ahead and hit backspace a few times and just kind of even that up and make it look better again on your test. If it doesn't say to do it, don't do it, but it looks better. Apply the convex bevel picture effect to the image on page two. So this image right here on page two, um, we're going to go to picture tools format tab and we're going to see something that says convex bevel picture effect. All right. And this is a picture effect, not a picture style, although there are there are bevel styles in here. Um, like this one is a bevel perspective. This is a picture effect and it's, there's a whole group called bevels and this one's called a convex bevel. And that's what we want to find. Soft round bevel, angle bevel, divot bevel, riblet, hard edge. It's going to be the last one. Cut out, convex. Boom. Huge difference. Insert the picture, Mike got latte'd, JPEG, under the smart art on page two. So again, this is from um, Mike's office. And again, here's some smart art on page two. And we're going to go ahead and say insert. And we're going to insert an image. Um, I know it's an image because it says it's a JPEG file. All right. Boom. So I'm going to go to my desktop. Shouldn't have sent all these invites out at the same time. I'm going to go to my desktop and find that image called Mike Got, Mike Got Latte'd. And it's a big image of uh, Mike from Mike's office. All right. Remove the background from the Mike Got Latte'd image. So I'm going to click on the picture. And under Picture Tools Format, I'm going to say Remove Background. All right. With Remove Background, I can go ahead and click and drag the bounding box. Oh, it's not letting me. Where's my bounding box? Let me try it again. Huh. I'm not getting my box to drag. That's really weird. So let me see mark areas to keep because I don't want to delete this. See if this works. Like this. Um, I think that's it. I don't know if that's part of the copy cup or not, but I'm going to say 
keep changes. And I guess that's how it would look right there. Okay. And that's called removing the background. You should have seen a bounding box. Is there another picture in here that I can try this with? Let me just play around with this real fast and see why I didn't get a bounding box. Weird. I got no bounding box. Maybe that's something maybe new. Maybe I don't get one. That would be super, super weird. All right. But whatever. So there's the remove background. And notice, I, you know, I did, I did get his mouth there a little bit. All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and silence that. All right. Apply the soft round bevel shape effect to the smart art graphic. All right. So here's the smart art right here. And when you guys click on Smart Art, you're going to get Smart Art Design and you're going to get Smart Art Format. All right. Under um, the Smart Art Format tab, you're going to see Shape Effects right here and you're going to find Bevel, just like Picture Effects. And we're going to find Soft Round Bevel. Round, Relaxed, Cross, Slant. Divot, riblet, angle, soft round. All right, and on page two to the right of part two schedules, insert a footnote. So right here. Um, under the insert tab, no, I'm sorry, under the reference tab, uh, you're going to see uh, footnotes and endnotes. All right, and we're going to say insert footnote. Um, and it says, drag the text, each shift comes with a 30 minute paid break into the footnote. All right, so right here, each shift comes with a paid 30 minute break. Select it, click and drag, and then drop it right here in your footnote. All right, and that's it for this part, guys.